So far we got FCOM up and running and now we're just going to add the rest of the mods that we downloaded. So we're going to get Bob's Armory going, Loth's Blunt Weapons, Armamentarium, Artifacts, Kobol, and the Omobs. So let's start with Bob's Armory. To do this first with 7-zip say extract to Bob's Armory Oblivion one underscore one and there go to the data folder and take everything out of the data folder and move it up one directory also delete the data folder as well as the meshes and textures we're going to be using the BSA which has the same resources take everything that's left and add them to an archive called Bob's Armory Oblivion and we're going to move that to the Rybash Mods folder okay now we can take this and delete it and take the um... this has the BSA in it so copy that and Loth's Blunt Weapons and move those to the Rybash Mod folder next is Armamentarium and Artifacts just take all four of them and paste here Then we have Kobol. And finally, the Omobs. Okay. And now we are going to um, configure these with the Rybash installer. Okay, here are all of the mods that we just added to the installer folder. If we go back to the FCOM thread. Bob's Armory goes right after Warcry, and Loth's Blunt Weapons goes after that then armamentarium, then we're going to have artifacts. So first is Bob's Armory Oblivion, and this is going to go at order 18. Next is the BSA, and then Loths. and then the ESPs for armamentarium then the resources then artifacts and its update after artifacts is MMM and then COBOL uh, for some reason, MMM Rune, Rune Skulls Rebalance comes after um, the MMM Cobalt update, so um, just because it's here, we're going to do it that way. So this wants to be in place of this, so this is going to be 28. okay and then we have the omobs right here so everything is in order okay so let's first install bob's armory 
you can unselect this we don't have to cheat for Loth's blunt weapons all you need is Loth's blunt weapons for NPCs so uncheck these if you don't boss will yell at you okay for armamentarium uh, I actually i am going to use my cheat sheet don't want to be giving you the wrong information it's not as bad as MMM but there are a few of them so let's deselect all of those and check armamentarium artifacts because we're going to be using artifacts LL for OOO uh, this is the um, vanilla version but because we're using OOO we're going to be using this one instead LL magic OOO it's just like um, this is the vanilla but this is for OOO which we have and then artifacts arma complete add-on because we're going to be using artifacts you could use this one too uh, this will disable elven and orcish armor from being sold at vendors but I don't mind if those are sold at vendors so I'm gonna not select it and then you only use this one if you ha are not using OOO so you don't want to select that one at all after you've done that you can install it do the same thing for its resources okay artifacts is nice and easy to install just make sure both of them are checked and then install the update okay and now we get to COBOL I have my cheat sheet that has all sorts of information for that so for the sub packages we're gonna check core patches and item interchange so core patches item interchange I'm not gonna be doing balanced races because like I said I don't want to worry about balanced races I think I said that in the first video Salmo the Baker um, on the COBOL website it says that this can cause uh, stability issues and so in the interest of having the most stable FCOM install I'm going to skip it and then TNR I'm going to skip that as well so with these three checked come over here and say deselect all and we want to check main filter glue SI if you have it then item interchange extraction then I believe that's FCOM and Frost Craig I don't know what either of these two mods do so I'm going to skip them if I knew what they did I might check them but I have no idea so I'm going to skip them for now. That. And that should be it. Okay, with that done, we can move on to loot drop merchant changes proposal um, I have that down here we're going to deselect all of them first and select cobalt main glue SI if you have it and MMM cobalt in the OOO 1.32 cobalt and then finally install the MMM cobalt update last but not least we have our DLC mobs 
If you have battle horn mobs, lair, mayrunes, and thieves then, if you have these four mob or mods, you can unselect them and just use DLC mobs. This um, is basically a collection of all four of these other ESPs. If you don't have all four of them, deselect this and check whichever ones you have. But because I have all of them, I'm just going to use that one. Then for Omod Shivering Isles, you can um, just use the SI, don't use optional combat settings. Also, if we come to the FCOM Convergence where all the ESPs are, uh, we can now select Bob's Armory and Bob's Guard Unity because we have them. Don't select FCOM Cobalt. Even though we um, installed Cobalt, uh, the FCOM forums say not to. But one thing you do want to check also is Loth's Blunt Weapons because we have that. So click here, right click and say Anneal. Come over to the Mods tab and click on Boss. No error messages now, that's always good. And just go through the motions that we've already done. If, it, if it's black, check it. If it's italicized, don't check it. and rebuild the patch. Mm-hmm. Looks like it found even more green things. Oh well, it looks good. build the patch. Okay, and with that, FCOM should be installed. Okay, I just went into the game once again to make sure everything was working, and fortunately it looks like everything's working. So, uh, now you have your FCOM installation all done. The uh, next video that I'm going to make will focus on making FCOM more stable and just smoother and easier to run. So uh, be sure to see that video as well.